In this video, we're going to look at the quickest, simplest, and easiest way to take these three bases here and turn them into bases like this one that have cracked earth and a lot of color and personality coming through. And you're going to be able to use that to base your army quickly and easily. So let's get going. So we're going to do these in three slightly different ways. For these first two that have the white tops, that's just white primer on top of them. And that's because we're going to be painting those with really bright colors and the white will make those pop a lot more than leaving them black like this. This one, we are going to put this um, Astro Granite on it and get some textures. So let's get that on there. Um, all you have to do, open it up, and just take your handy dandy sculpting tool like this, and just grab it out of there, spread it all over, and you can see that it's got a whole lot of texture to it. And it's almost like working with um, miniaturized cement. Don't worry about uh, having it completely uniform. The more texture, honestly, the better because it's going to affect the final outcome. All right. So you can see that's got a whole bunch of texture and that just has to be let dry. It'd take about half an hour for that to dry. So we'll move on to the next while we're waiting for that to dry. The next one we're gonna look at is right here. We are just gonna paint that with this really bright moot green. And so we're going to just pop that open Pop. Going to transfer a little bit of that over to our palette with an old brush here. Get that out of the way. A little bit of flow improver. And this one is going to be a single color. It's just going to be green um, and just one color green. Not going to have different colors, but I did thin it down so that it's going to have a variety of coverage. Um, some of it is going to be very thick. Well, not super thick. I mean, it's very thin paint. Um, and some of it is going to be semi-translucent and letting some of that base um, show through. So hey, there's prep on number two. We're gonna use purple, lighter purple and pink on this to get a, a nice variety of colors. So the nice thing about these is they're pretty thin. They're actually airbrush paints, so they're gonna be pretty nice. And these are gonna be underneath a whole bunch of um, earth. So this first layer, super easy. You spread it all around. Get it all the way edges because when we, when we use the uh, agrolin earth, it'll crack completely to the edges. So we don't want uh, white showing through very well. All right, we'll just let those three things dry. And then when we come back, we'll go on to the next step. All right, so we've given these plenty of time to dry. You can see that uh, the purple, we got a very uniform coat, very color, you know, got a few light spots, but that's okay. For what we're doing, a variety of colors is great. The green, you can see is very splotchy, um, you know, lots of areas. If I was going for a green, just a green look, I would definitely do a second layer 
but for this, this is actually really good because of the variety of the color that it's going to bring. Now you can see the uh, texture on this is great. We're going to um, paint that. We're going to put a little Rhinox hide on it. Um, and then we're going to dry brush it just to make it so it's a little bit uh, more visible underneath. And so this just really quickly quickly covering it again because of her you know the variety of colors and stuff it's okay if it's not a 100% coverage but it looks like we got 100% coverage anyway so you know that is just really thin coat um, it'll should dry pretty quick and for this all we're gonna do is we're just gonna put on some, some good squiggles we're gonna get some uh, patches, some coverage that's just gonna give it some variety. You can see, you know, we got some dark spots, we got some light spots. And when this stuff dries and cracks, we're gonna have some contrast underneath it. So that's gonna be really nice. All right, so we'll just let that dry. It shouldn't take very long. And then after that, we're just gonna apply this Agriland Earth and get some really fun results. So we'll see you in just a second. All right, that's had plenty of time to dry now. All we have left to do is to put this Agriland Earth on top of each of these. So I'm just gonna grab a little sculpting tool. Use that to just kinda a whole lot of this out of this pot. Just spread it all over. And then as it dries, it will crack. And so, you know, having um, having different thicknesses like that will make it crack differently. Where it's thicker, you tend to get very clumpy, very large um, sections of uh, sections of the of the dirt. Whereas, where it's thin, you get very fine spiderweb-like um, stuff that's left. We're just gonna put this all over that texture. Hopefully, it'll come in nice and. Uh, Cracked and textury, and it'll be great. But we will see. There we go. All done. So now all we need to do is wait for this Agriland Earth to dry, and then we will have our uh, cracked earth bases to a you know reasonable tabletop standard. All right, um, be right back. Okay, these have had a chance to dry and you can see the cracking pattern. Um, the purple ended up a little bit darker than I thought it would be. I thought it would be a lot brighter. Um, next time I'll throw in a little bit more pink. Uh, but you know, it looks actually pretty good. The green, love how that turned out. I mean, I stand a wizard on top of that that's throwing some green magic around and I think that really will look awesome. Um, you know, so that that's definitely something I'm probably gonna use because I'm 
starting to paint up some night haunts and I'm going to be using some green and I might be using this type of a base on them. Um, and this is the one that just has the um, the brown texture underneath it and you know it looks pretty good. The surface, I don't know if you can see this very well, but the surface is very uneven. Um, looks really cool. I, I really like the way that turned out too. Overall, um, this was a really good way to have a quick cracked earth base with some really interesting effects. This is one I'm definitely going to be using again because it looks pretty darn cool. Um, thanks for watching. Go ahead and please like and subscribe if you liked what you saw. And visit us over on the website paintyourarmy.com for more information and um, tutorials and things like that. Alright, thanks. Thanks for watching. Bye.